Cyan Casole Subscribe Cyan Casole for more educational updates. Hi friends. Today we are going to learn about fathers in the field of biology. These scientists devoted their whole life in the field of biology. We are talking about biology. How many of you know about the father of biology? Let me tell you who is father of biology. Father of biology is Aristotle. He once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Do you know friends? He was the first person to classify living things. Now, biology comprises of two main fields, botany and zoology. Now, we will see who is the father of botany. Father of botany is Theophrastus. He once said, Time is the most valuable thing a man can spend. Let me tell you a fact. Father of Botany was a disciple of Father of Biology, that means Theophrastus was a disciple of Aristotle. As we discussed one major field of biology, now move on to zoology. Friends, guess the name of Father of Zoology, you know him. Okay, let me tell you who is Father of Zoology. Father of Zoology is also, Aristotle. He once said, Educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. Aristotle is the father of biology as well as zoology. Now, in botany we study about plants and plant physiology. Who is the father of plant physiology? Have you any idea? Father of plant physiology is, Stephen Hales. He once said, if a chap seems bent on cheating himself, I like to be neighborly and help him to do it. We study about plants and animals in biology, but, there are millions of plants and other organisms exists on earth. So, we felt a need to classify them. Scientists classified them and made a new branch of biology called, Taxonomy. Now, let me tell you the name of Father of Taxonomy. Father of Taxonomy is, Carolus Linnaeus. He once said, If a tree dies, plant another in its place. Next, without genetics, we can't imagine biology, so, who is the father of genetics? Father of genetics is, Gregor, Johann Mendel. He once said, I am convinced that it will not be long before the whole world acknowledges the results of my work. Do you know friends, Mendel's work remained in darkness up to 1900. We should thank Mendel for such a great work. Let me tell you a key word to learn Mendel's work and that is, 7. He worked for seven years on for seven contrasting traits of Pisum sativum. Pisum sativum is the scientific name of garden pea. We learned about genetics, now we will learn about father of experimental genetics. Father of experimental genetics is Thomas Hunt Morgan. He once said, some things are better done than described. He did his experiments on fruit fly, that is, Drosophila melnogaster, and discovered linkage. Now, we will learn about father of bryology. Father of bryology is Johannin Hedwig. Bryology is the study of mosses and liverworts. Now, let's find out father of modern cytology. Father of modern cytology is Carl P. Swanson. Cytology is the branch of biology and medicine, concerned with the structure and function of plant and animal cells. Have you ever seen a microscope in your school biology lab? Yes. 
Oh great! So, now guess about father of microscopy. Let me tell you who is the father of microscopy. Father of microscopy is Marcello Malpighi. He once said, Surgical knowledge depends on long practice, not from speculations. I know that you are getting bored. Okay, let me finish this session quickly. Let me tell you one more thing, please subscribe this channel for more educating videos. Now, father of comparative anatomy is Baron George Cuvier. He once said, the observer listens to nature, the experimenter questions, and, forces, her to reveal herself. Father of modern anatomy is Andreas Vesalius. He once said, I am not accustomed to saying anything, with certainty, after only one, or two, observations. Anatomy is the branch of science concerned with the bodily structure of humans, animals, and other living organisms, especially as revealed by dissection and the separation of parts. Next, father of experimental physiology is Galen. He once said, the best physician is also a philosopher. Let's quickly move on to next scientist. Father of study of circulation of blood is William Harvey. He once said, all we know is still infinitely less than all that remains unknown. Let me tell you the definition of blood. Blood is a body fluid in humans and other animals that delivers necessary substances such as nutrients and oxygen to the cells and transports metabolic waste products away from those same cells. Next father in the field of biology is the father of evolutionary ideas, and he is Impey Dockles. He once said, each man believes only his experience. Now, father of eugenics is Francis Colton. He once said, what nature does blindly, slowly and ruthlessly, man may do providently, quickly, and kindly. As it lies within his power, so it becomes his duty to work in that direction. Next scientist is Father of Modern Embryology K. V. Bear Embryology is the branch of biology that studies the prenatal development of games, fertilization, and development of embryos and fetuses. Now, tell me the father of Ayurveda. Father of Ayurveda is Chirac. He once said, Life, Ayu, is the combination, some yoga, of body, senses, mind and reincarnating soul. It is the most sacred science of life, beneficial to humans both in this world and the world beyond. Now, father of paleontology is Leonardo da Vinci. He once said, Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Paleontology is the branch of science concerned with fossil animals and plants. Nowadays, medicine become an integral part of our lives. Let's remember the father of medicine. Father of medicine is Hippocrates. He once said, if someone wishes for good health, one must first ask oneself if he is ready to do away with the reasons for his illness. Only then it is possible to help him. Now, who is the father of Indian mycology? Father of Indian mycology is Edwin John Butler. Mycology is the scientific study of fungi. Bacteria play an important role in our lives. For making curd, 
from milk, we use lactic acid bacteria, and they are also harmful to us as they cause many diseases, such as typhoid, pneumonia, etc. So, father of bacteriology is Robert Koch. He once said, the pure culture is the foundation for all research on infectious disease. He identified the specific causative agents of tuberculosis, cholera, and anthrax, and, gave experimental support for the concept of infectious disease. In 1905, he was awarded the Nobel Prize. Friends, guess the name of father of microbiology. Father of microbiology is Louis Pasteur. He once said, The more I study nature, the more I stand amazed at the work of the Creator. Science brings men nearer to God. His swan neck experiment is very famous. Now, father of mutation is Hugo de Vries. He once said, Natural selection may explain the survival of the fittest, but it cannot explain the arrival of the fittest. He is known, chiefly for suggesting the concept of genes, rediscovering the laws of heredity in the 1890s, while unaware of Gregor Mendel's work, for introducing the term mutation, and for developing a mutation theory of evolution. Now, father of special creation theory is Father Suarez. He said that Earth is just 4,000 years old. Now, let's find out father of immunology. Father of immunology is Edward Jenner. He once said, The deviation of man from the state, in which he was originally placed, by nature, seems to have proved to him, a prolific source of diseases. Immunology is the branch of medicine and biology concerned with immunity. We learned that father of genetics is G. J. Mendel. Now, we should know that who is the father of modern genetics. Father of modern genetics is William Bateson. He once said, I would trust Shakespeare, but I would not trust a committee of Shakespeare's. Now, father of blood groups is Karl Landestiner. He once said, Owing to the difficulty of dealing with substances of high molecular weight, we are still a long way from having determined the chemical characteristics and the constitution of proteins, which are regarded as the principal constituents of living organisms. Now we are on the last part of this video. Father of Indian taxonomy is Herman Gill Santapo. Encourage us to make more interesting educational videos by subscribing Cyan Casol. Thank you for your support. Team Cyan Casol.